Hi, this is Laurie from Pride Cheneyville Library. I'm a teen librarian up there. And I've got a good one for you today. We're going to do an origami dragon. And my origami dragon looks really, really simple. This is what it's going to come out like. That's the final. So, looks really easy, right? And everything is until you get to the head. That's not so easy. It took me quite a while to figure that one out. And you're going to notice that as we go through this, the head of my dragon keeps changing color because that's how many tries it took me to figure out how to do this thing. So you're going to start with your three inch squares and you're going to get a whole bunch of them three different colors so you can plan whatever you want and decide how you want to set it up okay so the first thing we're going to do is fold the first piece you're going to fold the bottom up and these don't have to be exact because none of it is really that precise. You see on some of these that the pieces don't quite match up. It's okay, it just look, looks a little more dragonish. Okay, so. First you folded it this way. Now you're gonna fold it up. So you have a cross right through the middle. Okay, like that. Now, you're gonna open it up. Like it kind of, see, the cross in the middle? You're gonna need that. We're going to turn it this way and you're going to go from the center line and pull that corner up like I said not rocket science it doesn't have to be exact you're going to fold this one up the directions are total the instructions that you're going to get with the pictures will take you through this probably better than I can and you'll have all the time in the world to just look at it and figure out what you want to do. Okay, so now you have this piece and you're gonna squish it so that your new pieces are on the inside. Your outside's a triangle with a little piece sticking out. Okay, and you're going to do all of your pieces like that. So you're going to do 10 pieces and you're going to pick your color line up and what I would do is kind of figure out how you want your dragon to look. Now to get the one that I did this is about what you would come up with. Okay that's going to be the head and the body and the tail. So you're going to continue doing the same thing with all of your pieces, all 10 pieces, same way. All right? It gets really simple after you've been doing it for a while, believe me. I have been doing quite a few of these. See? Now, tell me, doesn't that look a little bit like kind of a hat that Genghis Khan might wear? You know that crazy Mongolian that took over Asia and Europe many, 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 many years ago? But he's not getting a hat today because we're using them all. 
Okay, so after you've got them all done, now comes the fun part. You're going to take the piece that you've decided that you're going to use for the head, the color that you want, and you're going to open it back up again to a diamond. Okay, and then you are going to take the one side and bring it to the center line. Squish. We do a lot of squish here. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm trying to get this one a little more precise because the whole thing is kind of tricky, so the closer you have the lines, I guess, the better. Okay, so now you have something that looks like a kite. Now you're going to take the new point and bring that in. Yeah. To the middle, to that center fold. Crease it good. Same thing with the other side. Okay, this is the only one you're going to have to do this with. The rest of your pieces are already done. So there you are. Now, you're going to turn it over and take a look. This is where your center point is the center of the back where you've made all the folds, okay? And you're gonna kinda give yourself an idea, press it down a little bit, okay? Now, comes more fun. You're now going to go about a half, maybe about a half an inch up from the point and fold that piece to the middle, to this line. Here's your center line, here's your half inch, and squish. All right, same thing on the other side. You're gonna go up about a half an inch or so, go back to the center line, and fold, okay? So that's what you're going to have. That's what it's going to look like. Now, take your center on the top. See where the two open wings are there on the short wings? And squish it a little bit. And now, okay, see what you have? Now you're going to hopefully... If you closed it up completely like this, he'd have his mouth closed. So, you could just take a little bit, kind of make the meat, okay? And there. You have a dragon head. And that's it. That's all you really need. And if you do a couple of these, they get really nice and neat and they'll look a little bit better for you. All right, next step comes the glue. You're going to take from your lineup and what you decided you wanted and on the very tip. some glue both sides if I can get some glue out there not a lot just a bit see and it's going to go right inside that pocket we have a pocket back there and squish 
and you'll have a little bit more time so you can be a little bit more dainty about it. Okay, now keep going with all your pieces and you can kind of decide what shape you want it. Remember now, this one isn't going to move. So it's not going to bend and twist. It's going to just be flat like this guy, just flat. So you take your next one and put it where you think you're going to want it. All right. And that's what you're going to do with all of them until you get all the way through and you get your tail where you want it. Now, if I had had lots and lots and lots of time, I probably would have taken the tail and just taken a pair of scissors and cut into it so that it looked a little feathery. And that would make it look really neat. When you get it all together, you're done. You're basically done. And what you're gonna get is in the pack, in your bag, you're gonna get googly eyes. So you can make your googly eyed dragon. I'm not gonna do that one on camera because that tiny little thing tries to get away every time. So you're gonna get to do that. I already did one. And that's it, that's how simple it is. When you get your bag, you're gonna get all your instructions with every picture, um, but you can also watch this YouTube video for real hands-on direction. So on your sheet, on the last page, you're gonna get the URL for the video, and you're gonna get a QR code that you can just scan on your phone. And that's it. I hope you enjoy this. It was fun for me.